So I'm Joe Baldridge, and I'm a recording engineer. Um, I've been one for quite some time, and um, I'm a fan of Neve and of music. So um, Neve complements the recording of the music um, throughout my career, and um, I've loved every era of um, the console, the preamps, and the compressor. So tonight I had an opportunity to um, work with some of my music through uh, Classic Neve Channel uh, 1066 and the 2254 compressor and to work with the uh, new uh, Rupert Neve Shelford channel. Um, so uh, going through more in a uh, mix status um, and listening to um, passing signal through the circuitry of the vintage piece as well as the new Shelford, uh, I get to compare drum mixes um, guitars and um, actually a string uh, quartet and um, got to uh, audition the EQ against the 1066 EQ which I personally own some early era 1066s and uh, I also work on Pro Act 100 so it's been a great listening environment to um, do my own critical analysis uh, of the new piece of equipment to um, the classic uh, Neve design, and I found them to be um, the new design to be quite flexible, uh, with a lot of uh, neat, innovative additions um, into the EQ and the compressor. Um, it, compression is program dependent. Um, it has multiple um, options as far as uh, flexibility and um, how you can manipulate the transient and uh, the release of the sound. Um, and I could also uh, mimic a classic uh, Neve compression uh, with the new unit, as well as having been able to do that with the EQ. Um, I found that the line amplification um, was different and clearer, but I could also recreate the harmonic distortion by using the um, red silk um, function that is on the Shelford and could basically emulate the uh, line amp drive of the classic Neve. And I also was able to remove it if I needed it on other types of audio passing through the chain, such as strings. I always had an affinity for Neve because the, the capture of, of sound um, is done with a microphone and that microphone converts that sound to electrical energy. At that point, it is voltage that converted the signal and that's why I have the affinity for the Neve. It helps me shape and sonically sculpt the actual sound that I'm trying to get an electrical energy and energy that will um, affect uh, an emotional response from a listener that is in keeping with the artist's intent for the emotional response of the listener from the music they've created and I've found Neve equipment to help me do that better than other.